Hey Dave, thanks so much for your question. I am really proud of you. I know you and I know that you really are trying to be an advocate for justice and reconciliation and I am so proud of the work you're doing in immigration. So, with your question in mind and thinking about your mentor, I want to say that I appreciate her concern and I appreciate her asking the question of whether or not it's appropriate to use the term racist. Like you, I agree with her that we want to be really mindful when we call something or someone racist. Whenever we call something racist, we're not just talking about our experience of it, we're also saying what we believe was the intention behind it. And we don't always know. We're not always sure of a person's motives. On those moments where it seems as if we've experienced something and we're not 100% sure what the motive was, we want to be careful how we use that term because it is really weighted. But then I would say this, there are times and I know you know those things happen where your greatest, deepest sensibilities tell you that what just happened was racist. And then I want to say that requires us to be brave, which is what you did. And I want to thank you for being brave enough to call something out when it happens. This is what Dr. Martin Luther King said, and I want to remind us all of it. Our lives begin to end when we begin to keep silent about the things that really matter. And these are the things that matter. We need more and more advocates and more and more allies who are not afraid to take the hit, to stand up as a white male and say that was inappropriate. And so I'd say to you, keep talking about it, but here's how I'd encourage you to talk about it. Talk about your experience of it. Use an I statement. Be able to say without holding back, I feel very uncomfortable when you talk about Native American people that way or I have friends who are Latino, I have friends who are immigrants, I have friends who are, and then you fill in the blank and then say, it hurts me and causes me to feel very offended when people speak about my friends using those terms. Maya Angelou was known to be a person who would ask people to leave her home if they said something in her presence that she deemed inappropriate. And I believe that we each have the right and the responsibility to name our space and to say, you might tell racist jokes, but you won't tell them in front of me. That's the kind of fence we've got to put up when it comes to racist behavior. We've got to say, you won't tell racist jokes in my presence. You won't be able to get away with having me as your audience. And so declare yourself that way. I also want to say this, there are times that people are going to feel hurt and offended by our standing up and calling them out. And we should anticipate that. We ought to know it's coming, that whenever people feel judged or blamed or shamed, they're going to have a reaction to that. But when you find that that reaction continues to be defensive, they don't want to have a conversation, it becomes a debate. You know who I'm talking about, folks who get on your Facebook feed and just keep coming back at their point over and over again, and it doesn't appear that there's an honest dialogue going on, I would say walk away. I don't debate. I want to be in mutually beneficial conversations where we're listening to each other and we're growing from different perspectives. When that's going on, that's a conversation that can move toward reconciliation. So I'm proud of you. I praise God for you. I want you to keep standing up for justice and I want you to keep speaking out about what you believe. Be careful not to put meaning where we're not sure, but when we've had an experience that's undeniable, say something and try to declare it as your truth. I hope that helps. I'm really glad you asked. Hi, I'm Dr. Brenda Salter McNeil, but you can just call me Dr. B. Thanks so much for coming by my YouTube channel and checking out what I have to say about diversity as it relates to race and gender. So if you'd like to be a part of this reconciliation conversation, subscribe by clicking below. I'd love to have you join us. If you'd like to be a part of this conversation about race and gender and reconciliation, do it again. Subscribe by clicking the link below. Here, here, we <laughs> here we go. Woo, woo, woo. One, two, three. Subscribe and come again. Oh, okay. <laughs> click here. Let's. This is my last one. Okay. Click the link below. Okay. <laughs> Subscribe by clicking the link below.